1949 Ford Business Coupe came in on the trade for some time. It's a great running uh, coupe. It's got a flathead V8 with a three speed manual transmission. The transmission shifts very smooth. You can barely hear this flathead run. It's one of the best running flatheads that uh, I've heard in a long time. It's got its factory uh, um, tag and stuff with a VIN number and everything on it. Um, looks like it's got the 6 volt battery still, 6 volt system. Previous owner went through this car and put tires, new exhaust, uh, new plug wires, just basically anything it needed, uh, carburetor redone, anything it needed to be an excellent driver. Engine runs fantastic. Um, underneath the hood is all solid, the inner fenders and stuff all look good and solid here. We didn't spend any time in detail under the hood, we just kind of decided to take pictures of it just the way it was. As far as our front bumper, it does have the bumper guards, um, but it does have dents in the grill um, and quite a few dents in the front and rear bumpers. So they will need to be straightened out and re-chromed if a guy's going to make a great car out of this. Uh, mechanically, it's excellent. Um, there's probably about 15 to 20 pictures of the floors. The floors, frame, and trunk are in great shape. The inner rockers are even in fantastic shape. So be sure to look at the undercarriage. This is a really nice, solid old car. Uh, somebody put kind of an amateur paint job on it. Um, as far as the paint job goes, it's just, it's never been wet sanded and buffed, and it's just, they didn't take out all, all the little dings and stuff out of it. Um, it looks good at 30 foot. You get up close, you can tell that uh, the car needs to be restored again. But it is a very solid car, and it runs and drives great. Tires are uh, in good shape all the way around. Um, lower front fender there's no blisters or bubbles there a rocker panel looks solid there's chips and stuff on that rocker panel but no blisters in front of the rear quarter and behind the quarter same thing no blisters just a dry paint job you know it's just does have a crack here in the winch in the side window it's got a little BB chip on this one as we open the doors um, door rubbers need to be replaced, but the corners of the doors are perfect on both sides. Door panels are really decent. Like I can live with them just the way they are. The window on the passenger side rolls up and down absolutely perfect. There's no uh, play in the window and there's no uh, grabbing of it either. It's very nice and tight. Um, the dash itself is in great shape. It's got its original AM radio still. Heater and stuff's all there, factory rubber mat. It does have seat belts for two in the front. And as you see, it's a factory business coupe. So this car did not come with a back seat. It was a businessman's coupe. So it's got the original rubber mat back there. Door shuts, excellent. Um, look at her gap here. It's a nice tight gap from top to bottom. Like I said, I don't see any blisters anywhere in the passenger side. Just some dry paint and some dings and stuff like that that didn't get taken out. So. It's got single exhaust. The exhaust is nice and quiet. It um, does have some, some body filler in this seam here, which it should have some, you know, should have a seam right here. They covered it up. So that's cracking out a little bit on that seam. Same thing on the other side. Trunk solid. It's got some pitting in this rear, rear thing here. It's got some pitting there. Back bumper is pretty much junk. Um, it's got a lot of scratches in it and tons of little dents. I don't know if it can be straightened or not for a rechroming, but the guy might want to find a new one if you're going to restore the car. As we look at the roof, I don't see any. Uh, there's one little tiny little ding right here. But other than that, the roof's super straight. I don't see any dents or anything like that except for that little ding. As we look at the lower rear quarter, behind the wheel it's perfect, in front of the wheel is excellent, I don't see any blisters. It's got about four decent sized dents in the lower door, if you can see that here, yeah you can pick that up on the video, um, probably tennis ball size I suppose, um, and it's got some little dings on the front fender too. So.
it'll need to be repainted, but very good solid quarters. No blisters in front of the wheel. Um, it's got some chips and stuff in the rocker, paint, that kind of thing, but the lower front fender is great. Driver's side door panels, just as nice as the passenger. Windows roll up and down very smooth. Uh, the back windows actually don't open, so they're stationary windows. <clears throat> um, as far as uh, temp gauge, it's running right in the middle between cold and hot. Gas gauge works. Oil pressure gauge work shows we're about 10 pounds of oil pressure um, after it's all warmed up. It's been running probably about 15, 20 minutes. Um, odometer shows 14,286. I'm guessing it's obviously 114,286. Um, battery's charging. And that gauge works. Looks like uh, it came with the option of uh, turn signals down there, but it doesn't have any turn signals on the stock. So. Um, the e-brake does work as well. I'm just going to go out and push that hood latch in. I want to make sure that's going to latch for us now. Yeah, locks and latches very nicely. Um, if you look at the hood gap and stuff on the front fender, it latches down nice and tight. And the fenders, the gap on the fenders are even on both sides. So. The ornament is perfect. Chrome on that's very nice. So the e-brake works. Horn works. Be a miracle if that radio works. It is the factory radio. We'll turn it on and see what happens. Um. Wipers work. They're vacuum operated, so I bet if we run gas a little bit, maybe they'll work. <laughs> they work, but I wouldn't want to be caught in a rainstorm with those old vacuum wipers. Um, heater fan works. Definitely have that. Let's see here. Switch it up to defrost. Blower motor works on low and high. Original radio is definitely. Boy, Schumer, the court oh my gosh. Asking for a new trial. If Floyd County Attorney Rachel Gibby. That's crazy. 1949 Ford original radio works. So everything works on the car. Um, I'm going to check the speedometer here in a minute and see if that works. As far as her dash goes, it's the gray dash. I've seen some turquoise on the inner door jam, so I don't know if this car was originally turquoise, but there definitely was a little turquoise on the driver's side door on the inside. Uh, speedometer works as well. It's not seeming to bounce around, seems to be working well. As we're going down the road, our oil pressure's coming up to about 25 pounds right now. said this flathead runs as quiet as a mouse looks like our wipers are working their way back it's got great acceleration Front end's really tight on it. The steering doesn't have any play. For as old as it is, it's you turn the wheel and the tires go right with it. So, oops, hit the foot feet. Brakes work excellent. No pull left or right. I accidentally hit the foot feet with my foot there.
think it shift. I mean, it shifts good. I've got a little bit of synchro noise, but I'm trying to shift with my left hand, so it's it's not the smoothest as far as the way to do it. There, the wipers are gonna park. It definitely needs a, probably a new vacuum line to those wipers. They work way too slow. Let me check our brakes again. A little higher speed here. Yeah, brakes are nice and solid. And they're not pulling hard either way. So idle down. Another thing about this car is it just runs so smooth. We just hit the gas here, or just hit the brakes here to a dead stop. And it doesn't kill. I mean, it just runs really nicely. No spitting and sputtering. Yeah. That time I used the proper age pattern, shipped it down in neutral. There's no uh, no uh, synchro noise, nothing like that going into gear. 60 mile an hour, just like that. Still got a lot of pedal. Drives nice down the road. I mean, this is a driver, guys. Guy put a little new chrome and some new paint on it down the road. Mechanically, it's done.